This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic, uh, source determination. So the topics that we are going to cover there, so we will see type of source list records, use of, so use of uses of using a source list, okay, source determination using source list. So these are the ones we will cover today. And in the tomorrow's class, we will see the code arrangement, code arrangement, okay. So basically, uh, whenever you create a purchase requisition, okay, you can do the source determination process. That means in the in the purchase requisition itself, you can assign a supplier, then assign a vendor using source determination process. So when you do this source determination, when you this do this source determination, system will try to uh, select the source either from quota arrangement or from source list or outline agreement or info record okay so we already discussed outline agreement and info record okay so now today we will see the source list and in the tomorrow's class we will cover outline agreement oh, sorry quota arrangement quota arrangement. okay so basically here when you do the source determination in the purchase requisition system will try to read one of in all these documents from there, it will select and it will propose a source here, vendor here in the purchase requisition. Okay. So first we will start with the source list. So what is source list? So the source list is used to manage a list of sources for a material in a particular plant and for particular time periods. Okay. So basically in the source list, you maintain the possible sources of that particular material. Okay, so suppose let's say I'll, I'll, I'll let me explain in a, so a notepad file. Okay, suppose let's say, okay, uh, in your company you have a material. Okay, a, a material called ABC123. Okay, this material is purchased from suppliers, let's say vendor, vendor one. Same material, it is purchased from different suppliers. Okay, so this in the source list, you maintain this information. So for a particular material, who are all the suppliers? So that information you will maintain the source list in the source list. Okay, in the source list, in the source list, you specify which source of supply is valid for a certain period of time. Here you can give the period of time also. This I will show you when we go to the system. Okay. You can specify a preferred source as a fixed or MRP relevant for a certain period in the source list. So you can main, you can also maintain, you can make a vendor as a fixed vendor also. Okay. And even you can mark an undesired source as blocked. After a certain period, you can block a supplier also, vendor also. I will show you this in the system. Okay. So basically the source list has the following purposes. Defining a source as a fixed source blocking a source okay defining a source as relevant for mrp planning run or and it is the source list is used for supplementing a source determination when using a quota range this we will cover tomorrow this we will cover tomorrow okay so basically source list have these functions basically these functions okay so this is how a source list looks like so basically source list you will maintain for a particular material for a particular plant and here you will assign all the vendors see this is a vendor code vendor code and his validity periods that means suppose if you see this vendor is valid only from 2007 to 2019 30th june 2019 only and whereas this vendor is valid from july 2019 to 31 december 2020 okay and you can make a vendor as a fixed vendor. Okay, you can block a supplier after a certain period. You can do those things also. Okay, so this is the information normally is maintained in the source list. Okay, so now let's go and uh, maintain the, create the source list. Let me log into the system. Okay. 
So, what I will do, I'll create a new material today. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll create a new material. Okay, or let's use this uh, 7144. Okay, let's use this material 7144. We will use this material. Okay, so first let me check whether it is having source list or not. Just give me one minute. So, yeah, what is a material 7144? doesn't is it's, as of now it doesn't have any source list okay so now let's say this is a material if this material is sub, uh, purchased from uh, three suppliers let's say okay so our material is 7144 okay and i will take the vendors okay so let's say I'll take the vendors. Does it having any purchase info records? J just give me one minute. Okay, I I'm just checking the purchase info records of that material. Oh, okay, we have already the purchase info records, right? Okay, this is also, yeah, yeah. okay. So we already have the purchase info records for this material. Okay, these are the suppliers. One double zero two seven four. Okay, and this one. Okay, and the other one is this one. Already, we have the purchase info records. So now, what I will do? I'll create the source list. Okay, so let, let this session be open. I'll open one more session. Uh, the T code is ME01. Maintain source list. This is the T code. Okay, enter the material, enter the plant. We are here. We are doing this activity. We are creating the source list for a material and plant. Okay, once you enter, just enter. You will get this screen. Here you have to give the validity period. Let's say valid from 01. 09 2021 20, to let's say 31 12 2021 enter the vendor what is the vendor first vendor this one you can enter like this one by one okay enter it enter it will ask purchase organization 1717 that's okay next one so next one, let's say valid from 0109, but this one valid till, well, let's say particular period, let's say 31 to 1999, this vendor, okay. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Now enter the budget. Okay, now next one. Next one, I want to make the vendor valid only from next year. 01 01 2022 20, to 31 12 2022 okay enter the vendor code okay and enter the purchase code. Enter. so like this you can enter the information so here this is the validity period of the supplier this is a supplier code and his purchase organization and uh, we will discuss this fixed vendor blocked vendor in in a minute okay so like this you can enter one by one you can enter one by one and then finally you can save it. okay so this is one method that means for this material these are all the suppliers this is one method okay another another method is instead of entering like this one by one what you can do is i'll go back i'll not save this okay again go inside instead of entering all these info one by one here you see there is a button here a red, a red circle button generate records you can click on that button once you click on that button system will read all the pars outline agreements of this material and it will propose them. okay and you see now i am clicking 